earlier this month, President Donald Trump signed an executive order promoting religious freedom overseas. And as we reported yesterday, faith leaders around the world are applauding the move. Chaldean Archbishop Bashar Warda of Erbil in Iraq says he is grateful to the White House for maintaining its focus on the issue, especially in wake of the pandemic. President Trump's document prioritizes religious freedom and foreign policy and international government aid. It also sets aside $50 million each year for programs working to advance religious liberty globally. Joining us now is Chaldean Archbishop Bashar Warda of Erbil in Iraq. Your Excellency, thank you very much for being here. Thank you, Owen. Good morning. Okay. We'll get right to it. Which specific parts of President Trump's executive order will be most helpful to you? We are really grateful. My letter uh, to the vice president uh, for, for this order, because uh, maintaining the focus uh, on, uh, on, on the issue of religious freedom, especially during this time of pandemic, where sometimes all of these issues would be marginalized, especially here in, in Iraq and Middle East, where Christians and Yazidis have been persecuted uh, by, by ISIS. So this order comes in just the right time, when really sometimes, somehow forgetting that there is a need for, for to rethink and refocus uh, and really get uh, some some help and work together on and, uh, and for, um, on on this issue. So I would say uh, this is really a, 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 time, a moment where we need support. We we know the terrible, absolute terrible destruction ISIS caused throughout the Middle East, persecuting Christians, Yazidis, etc. How would you describe the situation right now? Still, we are recovering, you know. Uh, still, uh, uh, once they, I mean, the people start moving back to their villages, rebuilding their villages again, and then this coronavirus came, which really jeopardized a lot of these efforts. So this order gave, uh, gives really another push. The funds available also by the, to be used by the USA to rebuild, and again back again to the issue of religious freedom, uh, because what I am afraid, and I've always maintained my my position on that, the circumstances which which made ISIS there, somehow is a still still there is corruption, political corruption, there is a kind of neglect. So all of these issues makes us all. Uh, worried sometimes about uh, is it going really to happen again or not. So when this order comes, really gives a hope to uh, the, uh, to our Syrian Yazidis that we are not forgotten, that the efforts that was made to fight ISIS and also to fight the circumstances which led to ISIS, uh, is uh, there is a commitment to to overcome this, and this is really a, a big help and a, book, a big push for 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 this issue. Can Christianity survive in Iraq in its current state with the current threats? What's it going to take to maintain its presence and and grow? Uh, of course, it will start. I mean, uh, we are God's people, so He will take care of us. And uh, with with the with the gospel of solidarity that we have experienced, and with the lots of support from our brothers, yes, we will, we will, and we have to because we have a mission. We have a mission. It's not about just being in in Iraq. It's uh, we have a mission that we have to also to among our people here, Muslim, Christians, all together, we have really to, to maintain our presence and, and with, uh, with hope that also we could contribute in rebuilding, uh, rebuilding this country. Well, we certainly are praying for you every day. And we, finally, before we go, what projects are you working on right now at the moment? Right now, uh, we are expanding the Catholic University of Erbil, building a new wing. Uh, called Megivni, which we all are really quite excited for uh, for beatification for the Megivni, and uh, add another uh, um, classrooms uh, to the to the university. Uh, also able to welcome more students. We, uh, we, we are continuing to pray for you. Uh, we want to see Christianity flourish, not just survive, but flourish in all parts of the world, including Iraq. So keep up the great work.
He's God. He's God. Thank you for your support. Okay. Chaldean Archbishop Bashar Warda of Erbil in Iraq.